Loading a roll of film into a new camera is like coming home. Back to where it all started, the beginning of my photographic journey, in the spirit of exploration, in the spirit of discovery. That's where it all started for me. And it started with a roll of 35 millimeter film. Well, I'm back to the spot I was in the autumn. And here we are, late winter. I wanted to see what this looked like, if it changed. I shot it in digital last time, and I also wanted to try it in film. And today we've got a 35 millimeter film. We're shooting this with T-Max 100. If you haven't seen my last video, this camera was donated by Old Film Guy. I also know him as Robert Gully. Robert was generous and offered me this camera to uh, use on this channel. Very uh, generous offer. I, I much appreciate it. So you could say this video is brought to you by Old Film Guy. I have a 24 exposure roll in this camera. I don't really want to waste a whole lot of film for time I use the camera. I want to make sure I've got it kind of dialed in if it, uh, my exposures are going to be correct going down the road. So I'm bracketing just a little bit. I really think this is a cool scene. I've shot it with a 50 millimeter and a 20 millimeter. The 50 millimeter was just the big rock in the background. And then the 20, I've got the whole scene. And I'll have to figure out which I like best. I really like these moss covered rocks. When I shot it in digital before, I, I'd always intended to come back with film and see if there was something here that might look different in film. We're getting some side light. It's diffused, but it's still directional, which is actually pretty cool. This is, about perfect light for wooded areas, I think. It's still enough to give texture, shape, form to these rocks, but not so much that it's got a bunch of hot spots all over the place. This is actually, I, I couldn't have asked for better light. So the photos don't turn out, it's not because of the light right now anyway. <laughs> I haven't taken a photo for a while. This is, it's been a slow start for me this year. I got this feeling there's a photograph in here somewhere. I like the section of forest here. I've never been in here. I'm out further than I normally come here. I've only been here a few times. I've never gone out this far. And I kind of like the section of woods over here. I'm gonna see if I can make a photo in here somewhere. This is what we're looking at. I know it's a it's kind of busy but there's a lot of depth in here a lot of vertical lines a lot of texture I gotta I 
I think I can make at least one frame in here. Let's, let's see what we can find. I just photographed this scene right here. It's fairly cluttered, it's kind of busy. I started with this first tree and then just kind of go off to the back a little bit. These are a little bit bigger trees than I've been seeing. It's just more of a, a forest scene. Backlit. Might hopefully I've got a little shine on the on the ferns. I'm thinking about blowing my last composition right here on this. I really like the texture of this bark and uh, these ferns in the foreground might might uh, make a little foreground interest. I probably will center that right in the middle and then have this kind of circular fern growth underneath it. It's one of those things where it, it, the viewfinder kind of works. <laughs> That's what I love about doing 35 millimeter. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm not out that much, you know. It's, it's good to be uh, experimental and playful. Sometimes you get your best shots that way. I've looked around here. There's so much potential here. I, I think if a little mist in here, boy, that'd be so cool. Today has just been so nice to be out. Perfect weather. Starting to sprinkle a little bit. That's okay. We're heading back to the car. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can set up composition on this. Well, we got our last frame exposed. Finished up the roll. Hopefully we got something to show you. I don't think there's gonna be any portfolio pieces here today, but it was a lot of fun making the shots. And again, I'd like to thank Robert for donating, donating the camera. Much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed this little trip out in the nature. Until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride. I know that someday film may not be a choice for me. So for now, I'm gonna continue in that spirit of exploration and discovery using the cameras of my youth, going back to where it all started.